Uh, so this has been a 10 week project working with the Horbury Senior Citizens Support Group. Uh, we've been looking at different methods of storytelling, so working from autobiography but also the group really enjoyed created storytelling so we've used a couple of different methods for approaching creative storytelling using um, photographs that we've brought in or using a variety of different objects but also some of the group have brought in objects from their own lives and photographs from their past and they've used that as a way of telling us a story about themselves. My name is Josie and I live in Wakefield and this is the big field, it's a big square field. Uh, I got involved with this project through Passport to Theatre and uh, I was, they came to see me and asked me if I'd like to join the workshop, which I said yes I would like to join the workshop along with the rest of the group and I also promised to get them 15 people to work with us. Hopefully those 15 people kept coming every, every week it's been a very, very interesting project and I've enjoyed every minute of it. My name is Neville Bartat from Huddersfield and this is the story of my camel, my fondest, earliest memories of my granny who sat in a rocking chair with me curled in her lap and she used to rock and sing me to sleep and every time on the sideboard was camel looking at me. And eventually, over the years, Granny died. And then my aunt took over Camel. And she was a jolly person with a jolly family who I visited often. And always, on her sideboard, looking at me, was Camel. Then, it was the turn of my mum to have Camel. And every time I visited once more, Camel was looking at me. Now, Camel is in my kitchen on the cupboard and he looks down at me and I look up at him and remember a loving family, parts of my life and I also ponder who Camel will be looking at next. One of the other techniques that we've used is storytelling from an object so Jenny and I have brought in objects and the group had to create a history for them. This extravagant necklace has been passed down through the Windsor family. It is made up of Whitby jet with diamonds which were added later on. An antiques roadshow jewellery expert recognised the diamonds as coming from the Hatton Garden robbery. The robbers thought it was a good place to hide the diamonds and had got it a criminal jeweller to add them to the necklace later on. Part two. <laughs> they never thought the diamonds would be discovered as they thought this was a good place to hide them. But they were distraught when the antique valuer realised where they came from. Overcome with guilt, they decided not to sell it, but to donate it to charity as it seemed the only way for them not to be recognised as the descendants of their criminal, not royal, ancestors. That's it. Is that a true story? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that shows it's a good story, Nadal. Yeah. Oh, my name's Gladys Hall, and my friend name is... What are they call you? Brenda Clark. So one thing we've been doing with the group is promoting healthy movement. So we start every session with a bit of a gentle warm up. Um, so getting the body moving, um, a few stretches, and it just really wakes up the body and um, the mind as well in the group. We really sort of get into grips with the fact that the mind and body are connected and that if you wake um, those muscles up, then the brain wakes up as well. Um, We've been confidence building as well, so um, making sure that the group are comfortable sharing with each other, um, speaking in front of each other. A lot of the group didn't know um, each other's names at the beginning, but now they all do and they're just happy to talk to each other and share more now. And another thing we've been focusing on is talking and listening. So we've been doing a lot of pair work as well um, and just making sure that the group 
can not only share their own stories and memories but also listen to each other's as well and repeat those back to the group and you know introduce each other really. Um, we've been doing an exercise called clap narration where we start with either a photo or an object and um, one person starts off the story, it can go in any direction they want and then when someone else feels that they want to take over they clap and they take over the narration and um, we've got some really great stories from that and it's just really great to see the group using their imaginations and just really being creative.